The big story right now on 12 News at 10 involves an ATV accident that has a 10 year old boy fighting for his life at this hour and officials warning the dangers of all terrain vehicles can pose. Good evening everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Kariba Devine and I'm Jordana in tonight for Mark Curtis. That 10 year old ended up submerged in water in a river bottom. Team 12's Rachel Cole joins us from the Alert Center with the latest details and measures you can take to keep your family safe on off-road vehicles. Rachel? Yeah, hey guys, tactical rescue teams responding to this rare rescue where a razor style ATV was submerged with that little boy trapped underneath. It had rolled over, there was water in place and our technical rescue teams made it down and began providing care as quickly as possible to the people who were involved. Captain Jake Van Hook with the Phoenix Fire Department detailing the scary incident near 71st Avenue and Rosier Road in West Phoenix. And from speaking to some of the crews that were involved, the personnel that were involved, our crews operated in a very fast and effective manner to, pre to begin care as soon as possible. Fire crews all too familiar with risky rescues and tragic endings when it comes to ATVs like this one. Just last month, a couple died when their ATV overturned in dangerous monsoon floodwaters near Cave Creek. It always sounds like a fun idea to go out in a storm, you know, and ride in the mud, but if you don't know the desert or and how flash flooding works, I don't think, you know, you're definitely taking a chance. And in May, this teen hospitalized after crashing an ATV near Tonopah, his sister praying for his recovery. And they told me to um, be strong and to uh, just prepare myself. It wasn't pretty. And so I walked in and I saw him. I just started crying. And now on the heels of this turned over ATV with a 10 year old Phoenix Fire hopes all of you will take extra caution. It's helmets, harnesses, anything that you can use. And it kind of is dependent upon the ATV. Captain Van Hook adds knowing the area can sidestep safety concerns, whether you're in a side by side or on a quad. Making sure that you can see the terrain that you're going to be traveling over. Uh, and those sorts of things can increase the safety and, and not compromise the fun. And at last check, the little boy was taken to a pediatric trauma room in extremely critical condition, so we're wishing him the very best. But you can find a list of ATV safety secrets on the free 12 News app. We're live in the Alert Center. Rachel Cole, 12 News at 10.